Want to know how you can resize PDF printable from letter or A4 size down to personal? Then keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I resize letter PDF down to personal size dimensions in a Word document. I'm Mary Ann, and through my planning, habit tracking, well being, and budgeting, I hope you can get some inspirations for your own planning and budgeting needs. All items I mentioned in today's video, I'll have it in the description below. For this year, Miko the Budget Mum is offering her 2023 savings challenges for free. All you have to do is sign up to her weekly newsletter or join her TBM savings challenges private Facebook group. This will be my third year doing the Budget Mum's savings challenges. Let me show you my printable downloads from the previous years. For 2021, from January to September, I printed my PDFs in A5 size. I comb bounded three months worth at a time and also added the envelopes that's included as part of the savings challenges. These savings challenges had two general savings challenges plus a kids savings challenge per month. Then, from October to December 2021, I started using A5 ring planners, so I moved my printable savings challenges into my A5 organizers. I was able to save a total of $3,563.18 in 2021 from the Budget Mums savings challenges. For 2022, I started to use personal ring planners as my cash envelopes, so I thought I'd also add my TBM savings challenges printable among my other cash envelopes. In 2022, I was able to save $2,290.16. You can still get the 2022 TBM savings challenges from the Budget Mums shop for only 10 US dollars. So if you want a full year's worth of printable download and cash envelopes to print, that is also an option for you. I'm in the TBM private Facebook group and the most asked question I get when I share my progress pictures is how to get the PDF down to the personal size. When you join the TBM Savings Challenge private Facebook group, before the beginning of a new month, there will be a featured post with link that you can click on to download the new month's Savings Challenge printable download, as well as cash envelopes to pop your savings in. Here's how I resize it down to personal insert dimensions. I take a screenshot of the full PDF page using the snipping tool on my desktop. There are four fast and easy ways to take a screenshot. One, you can press the print screen key on your keyboard. Two, press the Windows key plus print screen. Three, press Alt plus print screen keys. Or four, which is what I use, the Windows key plus Shift plus S. Use the snipping tool guide to cover the area of the PDF you want to copy. You have the option to save or copy. For me, I just use the save button. Next, I open the Word app on my desktop and click on a new document. The default setting of the blank document has quite a bit of margins. I like to narrow it down so then that way I can fit more images onto a page. Click on the layout option at the top, then margins and custom margins. I like to set my top, left, bottom and right margins at 0.5 centimeters. Click OK and now the margins are a lot narrower. Now it's time to paste our copied snipped image. Right click and paste. Double click on the image and the formatting bar will appear at the top. On the top right hand corner is the crop image buttons. Click on the tiny little arrow to see advanced layout options. Untick lock aspect ratio and relative to original picture size, then OK. Now let's resize the image to personal dimensions. Height is going to be at 17.1 centimeters and width at 9.5 centimeters. There we are, a very cute personal size TBM savings challenge printable. If you wanted to clean the image up a bit so you don't have any of the black borders, you can crop it off. Then you would do exactly the same steps for any other additional savings challenge pages. Use your snipping tool, 
copy paste the image on your word document clean up any of the borders that you don't want untick the lock aspect ratio and relative to original picture size then okay resize the image down to 17.1 centimeter height and 9.5 centimeters wide and here we are we have two personal size savings challenges planner inserts side by side ready to print if there was a third printable you want to print there is room for a third image at the bottom of the page do all the steps up to the resizing then click the small arrow for the advanced layout option and type in 90 for the rotation for it to rotate at 90 degrees and now you are able to fit three personal size images on one page that's why we narrowed the margins of the word document right at the start let's delete that third image because it was just a duplicate now it's time to print file print choose your paper size whether it's in A4 or letter make sure it's set at one per page have the correct paper on your printer and your printer is at the correct setting and then print let's take it to the table and cut to size to cut my printables, I use my Fiskars Precision Trimmer. This is a step up from my previous paper trimmer as it cuts thicker materials, but the best feature is the rotary bypass blade never needs replacing, which is great as I cut a lot of paper for my planning and our home school. This was the one I used for a long while, but because I cut a lot of paper, I had to replace the blades very often and that can add up. Hence the investment on the never replacing of the blades on the first one. And as always, you don't have to have any of these paper trimmers to be able to cut your planner inserts to size. Good old handy dandy scissors will do just fine. Time to trim each printable to size using the edge of the image as a guide as well as the ruler on my trimmer. Time to clean up and bring the personal size planner that I am going to use as my cash envelopes wallet for February. This is Filofax personal size good vibes organizer. This is Filofax latest collection. Here I have my store cards, my cash envelopes, my funds tracker, and here is my 2023 The Budget Mums Savings Challenge. I have the cover, the savings tracker for the year, and here is January's Savings Challenge, which is to save for Christmas. I have budgeted for 1,200 and I have 24 bi-weekly or fortnightly pays to save up for it, which is $50 per fortnight. And here I've just added a January tag. Here I have my Carpe Diem tabs stickers. I'm going to choose this green one right here. And I'm going to stick it to the top of the page of the February savings printable. The Carpe Diem tab stickers also have additional labels. So here I'm just going to grab a couple of the February ones and stick it onto the green tab. And now it's time to hole punch the printable and I'll be using my We Are Memory Keepers adjustable six hole puncher. This hole puncher can punch A5, personal, desk fax, A6, agenda, pocket, and mini. These levers you can move from side to side to the desired setting. And at the bottom, you can adjust this guide to the correct spot to align the top of your pages so the hole punch will be at the center of your page. Let's punch away and then pop it into place. Now if you got value from today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Next thing to do is watch this video right here. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.